Die again! Can you really say die to a zombie right there? Live! I shoot you with my bullets of life! What's up, guys, and welcome back to Throw Anything. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I find myself in the safest place during a zombie apocalypse, say, a robot-controlled blimp high out of reach of the zombies, I think to myself, I don't want to be here, right? I want to leave. I want to go back down there with the zombie horde and risk being torn limb from limb without any weapons from my giant armory, all to save a couple more dimwits. So that's what we're going to do. This is different. City of Fog, alleged murder, a falsely charged. Wait, are they talking about me? Because I'm quite clearly not an alleged murderer. I am definitely a murderer. <laughs> I have thrown people from 10 story tall buildings into hordes of zombies, okay? I'll, I'll own it. Yeah, you see, I was being interrogated for my awful crimes against humanity, and then all of a sudden, Minute made zombies came flooding in. <laughs> the citrusy horde are here, okay? We, we have to break free, and now I'm screwed. Like, the name of the game is Throw Anything. So I need more to throw than just a picture of my face when I realized how screwed I was. That helps, but there has to be more, right? They have to be hiding something on me. Thank you, Orange Zombie Jesus. <laughs> this is exactly what I've been talking about. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I just realized like, this game is getting harder, right? It's been getting progressively more and more difficult. And if they just gave me all of this, how many zombies do you think are going to show up? <laughs> like, how out of hand is this going to get? Probably enough to warrant calling in zombie Batman. <laughs> no, no, stay back. I don't even know zombie Batman's phone number. Now, don't get me wrong. I I'm a huge fan of throwing chairs and tables and Karen at the zombies. But I forgot how satisfying it is to shoot a gun in VR. It is just so perfect. And technically, this is fully automatic. So I could just spray and pray. But it's like I said, I get the feeling there's going to be a whole lot more of them. <laughs> so I kind of want to conserve my ammo wherever I can. And then when this runs out, I'm pretty sure there's an extra magazine. So I should not throw this out the window. I definitely want to keep every gun that I can get my hands on. And then, I wonder what's behind door number two. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> That's been a long time coming. You know, we'll, we'll stick with these for now. But I'm sure there's going to be a boss eventually that's going to love an RPG to the lips. Guess while I'm at it, I should see what's behind the mirror. Okay, it was a lot of bats. Are those yours? Really? It's, it's unprofessional. What's... Oh, the stuff. Yeah, okay, well, oh, oh, yeah, I like, I like stuff. Do you guys like stuff? Everybody's here for stuff. Maybe we can just, uh, there we go. <laughs> no stuff here, okay, everybody go home. Well, that is just typical. You're out here having a good time, and somebody goes and calls the zombie police. Okay, you know what? You never take me alive, zombie coppers. <laughs> Even though I'm sure that's probably your intention, right? They don't want to take me alive. There's no freaking way. <laughs> At least there's only a few of them. I may have spoken too soon. I definitely spoke too soon. Okay, you know what? We're going full auto. <laughs> Screw reloading. It's Big Boomstick time. Go Big Boomstick. Oh, baby, that's the stuff. <laughs> Moving on. I think we're okay, right? I conserved my ammo enough that I could take down all the little guys. Now we just got the big guy. Save me, zombie Batman. You look like the kind of person that would really love a couple of grenades. Oh, oh, apparently I would love grenades because I love hitting myself with grenades. Um, you know what? You're not taking nearly as much damage as I had hoped for. If you could maybe just keel over and die now, that would be great. That would be great. Would really appreciate that. <laughs> Listen, I don't care about your noise complaint. That's not good. That, oh, I'm running a little low now. That's actually not good at all. I'm running real low now. Uh, no, no, save me, zombie Batman, save me, zombie Jesus. Shotgun, Sh oh no, you're gonna be kidding me. 
This guy is invincible! That was ridiculous. I hit that guy with everything that I had. I didn't reload my guns, but I didn't really have all that much time. And if I'm switching between guns or reloading them, it's the same thing. I still shoot bullets. Maybe I can use my rewards? Yeah, my crazy apple-eating hobo rewards. I, I definitely have a bunch of those, right? 50 points. I got 50 points for that? Are you kidding me? How about we try that again, except for this time, I'm not gonna waste bullets on you idiots, because it's completely unnecessary. <laughs> so I'm just gonna drop all of the wall pieces and the table pieces and all that crap, right? I'll hold all the bullets for the big scary guy at the end. This level goes from zero to 60 like that. It is instant. Like I'm just sitting here casually watching zombies duck into the building that's not good since when do you guys learn how to do that <laughs> stop that okay i'm just gonna casually throw bricks at you right tables and window pieces and stuff like that no duress no problem everything is cool calm and collected and more importantly loaded will you stop doing that stop ducking in there i don't think i can break through that wall over there so this is probably all the junk that i'm getting which is fine, it's a whole lot of junk, and if I need to use a pistol every now and then, that's also fine. They're not the best. Sometimes they just don't reload, right? Like I should be able to, yeah, now you work. Great, make me a liar. Oh, they're coming. That's not good. Uh, can I reload you again? Nope. Nope, just the one time, that's all you get. We're moving on to the heavy arms. Maybe the grenades are better suited for all these guys? Nope, nope, they're sure not. That really didn't make much of a difference. Okay, well, we'll save the boomstick for the big guy. How about that? We'll use our full auto guns to take down the minions. Yeah, there we go. Now it's just you. And if we could just hold you off and maybe hit you with one of these. You like that? There we go, okay. I wish I had more fully automatic guns. That would be great. I don't think he moves. Oh, he doesn't move while I'm shooting him. That's very important because I could do this, right? I could just switch back and forth and keep holding him there and and pray that I don't run out. <laughs> please, please stop getting closer. Okay, personal space, personal space. Really rude, very rude. Ooh, yeah, Look, like that Uzi, there we go. Um, um, okay, shotgun. This is, this is crap. This is crap again. This is sword. Go. I don't, I don't get it. How do I beat you? I had better have gotten more than 50 hobo points. There we go. Okay, so I can buy you. That should help. Ooh. Yeah. Give me something cool. Another RPG wouldn't be too... Oh, right, I don't get to find out. Okay, well then. Yes, yeah, screw me. Why would I want to know what I'm going to use going into this? Are you guys busy right now? Do you think maybe... No, you know, don't, don't trouble yourselves. Yeah, I'll, I'll be right back. Somebody called the cops again, so I would really like to know what's in my package. It's just a second AK. Okay, well, you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. We'll take it. We're just gonna conserve ammo carefully. Ooh, ooh, yes, yes, please. The bomb guy. There we go. That helps a lot. That might be the difference maker right there, okay? Maybe I can, uh... Just precisely, carefully pick them off, right? I could save just a little bit of ammo here. I don't know, man. There's so many of them. Batman, I swear to God. You're not going to do your job. Uh, maybe you and you. Right, there we go. There we go. Now, suck it. Suck it. Yeah, there we go. That has to be a lot of damage. Right, that's gotta be some damage. At least a little bit of damage. There we go, that's good stuff. Boomstick, boomstick, boom. There we go, and grenades. I don't know what you're complaining about, dude. Uh, shotguns, shotguns, I think I can hit from here. Ah, 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 there we go, okay. Uh, pistols, pistols, oh, this is, this is not where I wanna be. This is not where I wanna be. This is not where I want to be. I don't get it. You would think the level with the most amount of guns would be the easiest, but no, borderline impossible. And I'm just now realizing that there's no dummy here for us to save, which is different as well. 
Right, there's no Karen or Steven. Weird. Okay, so I just gotta get out of this alive myself. I just realized that all of these orange zombies are probably supposed to be prisoners, right? Like orange jumpsuit, orange zombie, that kind of deal. Doesn't make total sense, obviously, but it makes a lot more sense than Minute Maid zombies. You're gonna be a problem. I'm, I'm probably gonna have to shoot you. Yeah, okay, it's starting. Here we go again. Now, can I please not get overrun? And can I please reload something? This just never wants to reload. Go. Go in! There's no button! I'm supposed to just be able to hold it here and have a go- I don't have time for this. Don't have time for this, okay? We're just, uh, yes, 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 there we go. Okay, we're just gonna focus on pistols for now. Pistols for these guys until the boss comes along. The more of these explosive guys I can get, the better. Ooh, I got a couple of them, so I think I actually thinned the horde pretty well this time. Right, there aren't that many of them to start off, and the ones that are coming, I can take down with the pistols and the Uzis and stuff like that. Good, good, good. Okay, you know what, Boomstick, this is definitely a good time for you. I'm just gonna, there we go. And uh, grenades, grab my hand pistol, I don't need you right now. Uh, something, oh, I didn't pull the pins. I needed to pull the pins, get out of my hand. Oh my God, everything, everything is going wrong. Everything is backfiring. Die again. Can you really say die to a zombie right now? Live. I shoot you with my bullets of life. Oh, please, please just die. Please just stop. Headshots have to be worth something to you. I don't have much left to give. Um, uh, hammer, hammer, yeah. uh, shotguns, shotguns are usually pretty good, right? Mm, 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 mm. I, I need, I need more, I need more, I need more. There's just no way. Where the hell were you guys? I'm out there getting killed and you're in right here playing games on your phone and making dough and doing your makeup. Karen, you're wearing enough makeup. It's the zombie apocalypse. Karen, I've had a very long, hard day, so forgive me, but I, I just, I need this in my life right now. I'm sure you understand, right? You're a trooper. It's fine, okay, it's fine, deep breaths. I just, I have to be missing something, right? There's no way that that boss is that difficult. It feels like he's not even taking damage. So maybe he has a weak spot, or I'm supposed to find something else in the room to hit him with, or I don't know, I could really use somebody's nerdy, useless brain on this. <laughs> You know what? I, I don't need your brain right now, Karen. Okay, it's, it's got as many holes as a sieve right now, so I guess I will just try again. What's really strange is at the end of the level, every time I lose, it says that there's an NPC in here and that he survived. It was like Prisoner Jack or something like that. I thought that meant that he was behind that wall, but I can't break that wall down. There's no way. I can't break that door down. That wall can't be broken. So there's some NPC somewhere that's the key to beating this guy. I... Just, I've explored this entire room. I don't get it. I can't even lean out too far. I'm gonna fall. I can't fly. I'm not zombie Batman. We're moving on to live rounds. Okay, we got armed and dangerous coppers showing up. Even though they're, they're technically armed with donuts, but it's still more than enough. Oh, great. Here he comes. Maybe that'll help a little bit. A little bit of this. I am just so screwed. Okay, this is very helpful. That, that's good, I like that. And then this time, I'm gonna remember to pull the pins. That go over there, that go over there. And then we're moving on to the big guns. Deal with you guys, then deal with the boss. Okay, now what the hell is... That's the NPC! I'm supposed. oh, I'm supposed to be shooting him. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All I needed to do was tickle the balls of Prisoner Jack, and then the- Why would that be a thing? Oh, that doesn't make any sense. I got a lot of points, though. One more piece of the MacGuffin Cube recovered, and I'm returning to the airship without Prisoner Jack. Which is good. I, I don't think we have room for him right now. Ooh. Fancy. Okay, can somebody wake him up? Okay, I don't understand how the robots can sleep when they're driving the blimp and there's gonna be bumping music playing in a second. 
Karen, I'm happy to see that you got those darts out of your face, but could you turn the music up? Just make yourself useful because it's about to drop. And when it does, there it is. We gotta wake up this robot. Somebody jettison this man. You know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Throw Anything, guys. And I'm kind of pissed that I didn't figure out how to beat that boss sooner. But it was super abstract and super different, which is good. Because honestly, I don't want to keep fighting wave zombies and then fighting a boss and then fighting Karen and then just rinse and repeat until the game ends. I wanted to change things up and getting a full armory of guns to shoot was definitely different. I really enjoyed that. So as always, if you guys want to see more, leave a like in this video, let me know, and I'll return for the next crazy throw anything level soon. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.